Hello there, the internet. Tough Monkey here, and Storm. And a bit of a heatwave going on. And if your dog is anything half as active as our Border Collie is, you're going to be looking for ways of keeping them cool during these hot summer months. That could be as basic as a cold, wet towel, a cooling jacket, a sprinkle mat, jumping through the garden sprinkler, or getting squirted in the face with a hose pipe. She quite likes that. You could be really extravagant and have a doggy Good paddling girl. pool. Or you could even have some raised beds that keep them off the hot ground. But as we need to be a bit more responsible with water usage, there's something else that's always been a surefire hit with Storm. That's ice cream. She absolutely loves ice cream. Whenever we have an ice cream, she has to have an ice cream. This particular brand is Scoops, sold by a local shop, so we always stock up on it. But if we're out and about, say in Wales, we always use Utterly Muttley or support the local vendors. Uh, but one thing with our doggy ice cream is it's very expensive. So we make our own. And I'm going to show you how I make our ice cream, which Storm absolutely loves, for a fraction of the price it will cost you in the supermarkets or an ice cream stand. And your dog will love it every bit as much. We usually make our own ice cream, but it's full of things that are probably not so good for dogs. Things like Baileys and chocolate and Amaretto. But it seems that we're out of uh, Storm's normal ice cream, so uh, let's go shopping. We're going to want some strawberries, we're going to want some bananas, we're going to want some low-fat natural yoghurt. And, well, you know, I've been a good boy too. So grab yourself a mixing bowl, grab yourself a chopping board, a nice sharp knife, and I think we'll also go with some nice fresh blueberries, and we'll also go with some doggy peanut butter. Uh, now, as long as you've not got xylitol in it, you're perfectly fine, so something like sun pat peanut butter is perfectly fine. The bananas I just bought were a little bit too green, so let's use a ripe one instead. Uh, and we've got a couple of tubs of low-fat natural yoghurt, and of course the strawberries as well. And that's all the things that we need to make this doggy ice cream. Now, we do have an ice cream maker, like I mentioned, but you really don't need it. You can just mix it up, stick it in a tub, and put it in the freezer overnight. And these 300 milliliter pasta sauce pots are ideal. So peel your banana, chop it up. I'm going to grab some blueberries. You don't have to have these if you don't want to. Chop up some strawberries. Five or six should do. And leave a few for yourself to put on your own ice cream. And then give it a good mashing. We want to get it nice and pureed. Lumpy is perfectly fine. And then get the uh, doggy peanut butter. Like I say, as long as it's not got xylitol in it, you're perfectly fine. And give the dog those spoon licking rights. Now we're going to put the low fat natural yogurt in. Two pots of 500 ml. So we've got one litre of yogurt in there. And uh, we're going to need someone to clean out the pot afterwards. I wonder who could do that for us. Give it another stir and a bit of a mash. If you do have an electric blender or a smoothie maker like this, go ahead and use one of those, but you really don't need to. A bowl on a uh, potato mash is perfectly fine. I'm sticking this into my ice cream maker, which will be uh, about 50 minutes on the uh, freeze setting. Uh, but like I say, you do not need an ice cream maker. Just put it into the uh, freezer overnight. It'll be perfectly fine. After about 50 minutes, this is the consistency of the ice cream. It's basically a soft scoop ice cream. You can give it to the dog now, now if you really want to but to be honest it'll be gone in seconds um, I'm gonna put it into the freezer but first we're gonna want a bit of a taste test can we think of any volunteers for that oh look there's a dog hello storm would you like some ice cream I bet you would of course you would like I say soft scoop it'll be gone in seconds so we're gonna whip this back into the freezer overnight do you want an ice cream And we're going to head back out into the garden for an evening with our lovely new ice creams. First taste test of banana, blueberry, strawberry and doggy peanut butter flavour. What do you think, Storm? Storm? Yeah, yeah, I, th I, think, I think she likes it. So, for 1.2 litres of our homemade doggy ice cream with natural yoghurt, strawberries, bananas, blueberries and peanut butter, we're looking at a total cost of £2.25. That's only £1.88 per litre. And that's going to be significantly cheaper than any ice cream for dogs you'll find anywhere. And you know the ingredients that are in it. It's safe for the dogs. They're going to enjoy it. Obviously, if you're out and about, support the local vendors. Buy doggy ice cream. But if you're at home, you may as well make it yourself and save yourself a lot of money. Hope you enjoyed the video. From me and Storm, see you next time.